Yeah, so this is a great way to keep all of your grades uh, in one place and to keep a continuous assessment of your students' grades throughout the year as they do more projects um, as the year goes on. Uh, it'll also, it'll also uh, automatically do a traffic light system for your student grades um, so that you can, you can easily flag um, students how they're doing. Um, I have, uh, yeah, so first of all, like I've, I've redacted the names here. So this is a very handy little thing to know how to do and just change the font. So I'll do it up here for the top. So you'll find a redacted font like that. And then just change it back when you want. Yeah, so this one here is my um, engineering one class. Um, and this is a real one. This is how it works. And it's done. I've changed this student's grades here. Student 12 here. I, I've lowered his grades here just to show you that it's, it's automatic. So for example, if that was 30, you know, his grade has gone up now 48 and he's now in the orange. Um, yeah, so um, there's other little things you can add in here too, you know, using Google Sheets, you can add on um, important documents, just links, YouTube links and whatever to interesting things. You can also put in comments too for whatever students. So the student literacy, struggles with literacy and numeracy and so on. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll update this applied technology one now, show you how I do it. So remember that you always want to have your scores weighted to 100. So as the projects go, go on or the assessments or whatever, you need to change the grade or the weighting system for the previous ones to always add up to 100. Okay, because at the end of the year, the student or the end of the term, the students marked out of 100 for all of the work that they've done. So, okay, so I'll add up the mobile holder here project. So this is what they got. This is the grade they got, the students here. So we need to know, make sure we have the cell right. So this one here, F25. Okay, so in this cell here, um, yeah, we have, we'll have F25 in here. So as I was saying, everything has to add up to 100. Okay, so I'm gonna weight this differently now. The weighting system will change. So that's gonna be 30 um, out of 100 for all the work that they've done. So I need to change this. Lower these down a bit. And There we go. So as, as long as they always add up to 100, sorry, change that one. 20. All right. So, but don't forget to change the formula. All right. We can see this adds up to 100, but that doesn't mean anything until we change our formula. Okay. So, I, yeah. So over here in um, Pac-Man 20, it was out of 30 or weighted out of 30. So I'm going to change that to a 20 and then apply that formula to all of the cells down below. This one was at a 60, 60. It's now weighted out of 40. And then apply that to all below. And my new project will be weighted out of 30. So the current project here at F25. So we just go equals to open brackets. F25 divided by 100 divided by the new weight. Okay, and then apply that down to all of those cells there. Okay, so the four things that they've done, which is their work so far of the year, continuous assessment wise, they will get a grade over here. So over this is how I do it, equals to 
in brackets, and we can drag all of those cells across. So it'll continuously update any other grades that will be in here. And close brackets, and don't forget to write sum. SUM, so it'll sum that range between C3 and I3, press enter. And there we go, 81. So this student has a continuous assessment of 81% for the four elements of the course. And then drag that down. And there's everyone's there. Now, the traffic light system is called conditional formatting. Uh, it's quite easy. So we want to put in conditions for these cells here. And so we highlight them, go to format, conditional formatting, and we can start at the top. So we'll say that um, the cells here, K3 to K23, if they are less than or equal to, so format the cells, we'll say to a color of red, if they're less than or equal to whatever value that you want them here. So in this case, 40. I'm gonna flag them at 40, but it could be any number, obviously. And then you go done. Then we'll add in another rule. So this be for the orange. So the same cells from K3 to K23, which is gonna be our orange or amber. less than or equal to, so in this case here might be 70. We'll go done. And then our third condition, yep. If they're less than or equal to 100. And there we go. So as the grades change, the colors will change, and you can see how everyone's doing in your class if you weight them to 100 all of the time.